the solid principles can be tricky, and this video covers the difference between the Liskov substitution principle and dependency injection. So let's dive in. The Liskov substitution principle, in effect, says that the objects in a superclass should be replaceable with objects of its subclass. So any instance of a superclass should, in effect, be able to be replaced by any instance of the subclass. So for this example, I'm sorry it's a bit uh, University 101, but you can have a vehicle which might have some properties like uh, gas capacity, it might have some behaviours like apply brakes or accelerate, and that should be replaceable with any instance of the subclass, which in this case might be an instance of a, a car. And a car has an extra feature here, an extra behaviour, which is play radio, but it's still a vehicle, and you'd be able to replace one with the other and there'd be no problem with doing so. And in this simple case, yeah, you're right, it's fine. However, this might not be the right abstraction for vehicles and cars, and the reason could be, and it would depend on which problem you're trying to solve, and clearly this is not a production-ready example. But if you wanted to add an electric car, unfortunately, electric car, gas capacity doesn't really make any sense, because an electric car, unless it's a hybrid, doesn't use gas. So it's not the right abstraction to use. One way of kind of overcoming this is to use an interface, and it might be called in some languages a um, protocol, and then conform to that into the electric car could conform to an electric vehicle interface, which then conforms to a... This is getting into the details of a solution to this problem. And this video is really about describing the problem. And the problem is kind of making parent classes with subclasses, and a common solution for that is to use appropriate interfaces. So, the dependency inversion principle has kind of two parts to it. High-level modules should not depend on low-level modules but should depend on abstractions. And also, abstractions should not depend on details, details should depend on abstractions. So if we look at one case where we've got a client dependent on a service, unfortunately, they're tightly coupled together. So any changes to the service, more than likely, will end up with changes to the client. So what can we look at to try and solve this problem? We can access the server through an interface, and in some languages you might call this a protocol. So then changes to the server maybe are behind that interface and require no changes at all, or at least changes which make changes to the server and the interface are very visible. So we can make sure that we have reliable code that's well tested and doesn't cause issues because we're using this dependency inversion principle. So, I do understand why there can be some confusion between these two solid principles. The Liskov substitution principle is more about inheritance and how classes actually interact with each other, whereas dependency inversion is about communicating through an interface so you can swap out, say, a server in a client-server relationship. The real answer to which is used and where is what is the problem trying to be solved. And I, I hope that at least covers some of the confusion that can occur between these two solid principles. So thank you for making it to the end, if you really did, and uh, hopefully see you next time.